today's video, we're going to be breaking down Mikael Bridges and his basketball shooting form because it's actually very good and very interesting as well. So let's get down. Let's check out his basketball shooting form because you're going to absolutely love it. Okay, so the first thing that I really want to point out is the fact that his body is tilted away from the basket. This is actually very important because his whole body is in line being tilted away. He doesn't have one piece of his body that's off and everything else pointed in line. He has everything pointed in the exact same direction. His knees, his hips, his feet, his shoulders, everything is pointed in the same direction. This will allow him to get his shoulder and elbow in line with the rim and that basketball at least a quarter of it over top of the shoulder. This creates the shooting triangle which will allow you to have a straight shot. He also has a very high set point and in my opinion a two point jump shot because he freezes right above his head like that and then he releases, but watch his off hand. His off hand has a slight thumb flick, but it doesn't affect the ball. Let me explain why. A lot of players who have a thumb flick will try to push the ball with that hand. He's not actually pushing that ball with that off hand because the ball is still in his shooting hand while that thumb flick releases, which allows that ball to still have a straight tra trajectory and a lot of spin on that shot. There's a lot of color commentary that will say he's got a very soft shot because it tends to sometimes bounce around the rim a lot. Why is this a thing? Well, he has a good drop on his shot. It's within that 42-ish degree range. However, what I really want you to see is the reason why it's a soft shot. That is a lot of spin on that ball by the time it hits the rim. The reason why you want to have a lot of backspin on the ball is because when it does hit the rim, it's going to stop its forward progression and it's going to hit the rim softer. That will allow it to bounce around and has a higher chance, a higher probability of just dropping in because it is uh, able to bounce around. If you can get a lot of spin on your shot, that's definitely going to help you. Now, if we actually look at his shot right here, we can see that he likes to step down in, with his right foot so that he can get in line. While his feet, his knees, shoulders are all in line, he actually has a very outstretched elbow. He brings that ball really far out in front of him, and he brings that ball up, if we watch right here, the right side of his, or the left side of his body. But if you actually look closely, that's up the middle. The reason why it looks like it goes up the left side is because he has his arms so far outstretched and his body has a very, very far tilt or a big tilt. The reason why he's got to build a big tilt is so that he can get his elbow and shoulder in line. A lot of players cannot shoot straight up to the rim. It's hard, especially if you've got a lot of muscle sometimes. So this is going to help him get that tilt. Now, if we actually look at the ball itself, he has some space between his palm and the ball. This is important. There's a lot of players who will shoot without the palm on the or without the palm on the ball. That's an old school way of thinking as well because that's going to allow him to have more control of the ball, but some players find it more beneficial to have zero or very little palm on the ball, which will allow them to get more spin. But I'm going to tell you right now, he has absolutely zero issues getting rotation on that ball. And having that gap in his palm is going to have him, allow him to have more control over that ball so he can make more shots. Something else I really want to break down is the fact that from gather up into set point is all one motion. A lot of younger players will gather, stop, and then bring the ball up. And while he does have a two motion shot where he freezes above his head, and he has a nice straight flick as well, he brings the ball from gather from his left hand into his right straight up. A lot of the energy transfer is going to be there. He's already had his knees bent, he's extending his back, and then he's able to go straight up into his shot. He tends to to jump straight up and straight back down which leads to a very consistent shot when he does release we can see that his elbow is above his forehead and he has a quick style release where he sometimes will bring his arm back down so that he can get that shot off faster now this is actually a very big secret when it comes to quick shooters that release the bent arm right away after he releases, while this can be considered by many as an inconsistent style shot, that quick pullback on his shot is because he was being contested. 
If you are a boxer, as an example, and you punch, if you want to have a quick punch, you bring your arm back because that's going to allow you to punch again. Well, that's the same thing when it comes to basketball when you're shooting. If you want to have a quicker release, you want to pull your arm back faster as well, which will allow you to have that quicker release. That's a big secret, and not many people have ever talked about it. I also want to point out the fact that when he takes his shot, watch his toes. He's up on his toes, heels off the ground. Yes, he brings his knees together, and while some trainers may say that this is a potential injury risk, it's really not. We've seen a lot of tribes in Africa who do the toe hops, it's part of their dance, and their knees actually come together. A lot of players will find that they're more springier if they actually bring their knees together. Now this is not something that you need to force yourself to do, this is something that you should not be forcing yourself to do. This is just something that comes natural to some players, and I really would not be trying to force a player out of that. It's just how they jump. Now, what I really want to focus on though is the toes. The fact that he's on his toes gets him up into his shot much faster because that engages the Achilles and the Achilles is the springiness to your jump. Anyways, make sure to go check out the link down in the description below to for the hardest basketball shooting workout and I'll see you guys again in my next video. I hope that this video has helped you become a better shooter in basketball.